In this video, I'm going to talk about four steps to reprogram your mind. So this video is especially great for people who are running negative thoughts, who are fed up with their negative thoughts and they want to change that and they want to change the way they think, they want to change the way their mind is draining them, then this video will be very helpful for you. So if you are interested, keep on watching and I will share my four steps to reprogram your mind so that you feel abundance, you feel positivity, you feel joy and happiness and all these things are highly meaningful and fulfilling when you have them. So stick around and let's get into this video. So the first thing we should consider and think about how our mind works and what is it for? Mind is designed to make you survive on this planet and that's what mind's job is, to help you to survive here and it's not designed to make you happy. Why is it running thoughts like which is not serving you? Then think about that. It is designed to make you survive here. So it will focus on negative thoughts because negative thoughts can help you to protect yourself in terms of if there's any danger. So the idea of the mind is to protect you from the danger. Why we run a negative thought pattern because of the fear of what would happen. And the fear brings obviously anxiety and low self-esteem sometimes. So really being clear about that really helps you to kind of become aware why your mind does what it does. It is only its only job to make you survive and it will do anything and everything to protect you. So your mind is really your best friend in that sense because it's protecting you consistently because it thinks it is not safe. And whenever mind feels it's not safe, it will give you all the negative scenarios to tell you to not do something or not go somewhere. Uh, because it's it's just trying to protect you. So when we become clear about why mind is doing what it's doing and we become aware of its job, then we have a better understanding that whenever we say that I don't want to go out or I don't want to do this because I feel anxiety or I feel fear because of whatever reasons, then mind will say, okay, yes, I am there for you. So if you're feeling that it's not safe, I will protect you. I will make sure that you do not go out. And, and it is more self-sabotaging task if you look at it from higher perspective, because if you don't go out, if you not do what you're supposed to do, then you are really self-sabotaging yourself. Even though because you, maybe you have an anxiety about something, but in a bigger picture that maybe anxiety is because of your past, thought patterns because how you used to think and because you build that in your mind it looks like a huge deal and it looks like a big deal and that's what mind is doing okay understand it's a dangerous situation going out so i will protect you i will make sure i will give you all the reasons why you shouldn't go out and then you start running all those reasons why you shouldn't go out and then you probably wouldn't go out if you are you have a fear or anxiety of uh, meeting people or going out or anything like that. So this is how it works in a broader perspective. So in terms of the steps to reprogram your mind, first thing we need to look at is the step one. Where does the programming come from in your mind? What's the programming of the mind? And it starts with your thoughts. That's how it starts. It starts with you, what you think. And that's the number one step is to be aware of your thoughts. Because how it works is you start thinking about things which may not be true. 
and it may be fear-based thinking. It may be thinking because of the anxiety you might have. It may be because your past experiences. It may be because of your past environment. It may be because of the people you are surrounded with and what they are th telling you. What kind of limitation those people have who, who are feeding that in your mind. And that's uh, something really kind of clarifies when you think about it, where your informations are coming from, the thoughts are coming from. Is it from your friends, your family, your the things you watch on the TV and all those things accumulate and make your thoughts the way you think. Uh, your environment, your childhood, your, uh, your being, your friends from school, your teachers, everything really makes you who you are today based on who you met, who you've been with, how are your parents, what kind of upbringing you had, what kind of employer you work with, what kind of colleagues you have, what kind of friends you have, what kind of environments you live in, what kind of things you watch, all of that makes you who you are today and those are the kind of thoughts you will be running depending on where you are, who you are and what your environment is. So really being clear, the first step is to become aware and that's the key, aware of your thoughts. What kind of pattern are you running in your mind? What kind of thinking do you have? What do you think about most of the days? And that's your first step to recognizing the pattern, the things you'll think about and how it affects you emotionally. Does it make you angry? Does it make you upset? Does it make you sad? Does it make you happy? What does the, your thoughts do to you? That's the first step. And in most cases, most people think negatively because they have been running that pattern since they were young and they have been running that pattern throughout their life. That's why even when you see someone who's maybe 50, 60 years old, but their thought process, if you listen to them, it is very immature because they have been running the same thought pattern since they were kids or since, since they were young, maybe 20, 25, and they have been running that same thought pattern throughout their life. So even if they are 50 or 60 or 70, they're still mentally, they're probably still 25 because they haven't changed anything the way they think. They haven't taken that ownership of changing their thought. So really being aware of it makes you question what you're thinking and how you're thinking and how is that affecting you on your mood and on your emotions. So that's really the first thing you need to consider. Second step to reprogram your mind is to consider what kind of thoughts you're running. So if your thoughts are you always fail in the interviews, job interviews, if you have that thought, your mind will look for the confirmation because that's what mind does. Mind looks at all the scenarios in the past when you failed. So mind will always look at the past confirmation of to confirm to you, yes, it is true, you do fail in your interviews. So it will consistently look for that. And what happens is when you consistently look for that, you will find evidence if you have evidence for it. And sometimes we do it, we hypnotize ourselves in believing something which may not be true or it might have happened once, but we then buy into other people's beliefs. We buy into other people's um, conversations. We buy into other people's opinions and we think, okay, you know, that person told me that, you know, uh, I'm not good at this or I'm not good at that. So I'm going to believe that. And your mind will say, okay, let me find all the confirmation from the past where you were not good enough. Let me find it. And it will show you all the things, maybe as small as it can be. So your mind will look for confirmation right so the first step is to become aware so when you are aware of your thoughts so let's say you have a thought in your mind that you are not good enough so you become aware of it second thought naturally the mind will look for evidence 
to confirm your thought but in order to reprogram you will say i believe that i am good enough because of the reasons because what i have achieved so far where have i been so far what kind of things i have done what kind of feelings i have what kind of people i meet you can reprogram based on the evidence you're looking for so if you become aware of your thoughts you can really focus on finding the positive evidence to change the way your mind thinking so instead of focusing on why you're not good enough focus on what good things have you done and have you achieved and have you felt which can confirm to you that no you are good enough so that's the second step is to look for the confirmation in a positive way not the negative way because naturally the mind will run the negative thought but in order to reprogram your thought you need to find positive evidence so like i said if you have failed in the job interview before but remind your mind that look i have passed other interviews or i have done well in this that's why i have a job right now i have a, uh, i have secured this job because i passed in the interview so therefore i do not fail in the interviews i do pass so you are reconfirming to your mind that you have done something which it was thinking as a negative way you can turn it around and reconfirm to your mind no this this is the truth the truth is i have passed in the interviews and this is why i have a job which i have right now right so you really reprogram because you see people get stuck in one job because they have that fear maybe they will not do well in the if they apply for a new job or uh, it will be difficult or it will be complicated and do, they don't want to go through that hassle of uh, going for that job because it might be challenging and they stop themselves from doing that because they feel they might not succeed in that interview or that uh, opportunity which maybe seems too far ahead and they seem that maybe they don't deserve it uh, it's all underlying thought patterns sometimes we are not even aware of them sometimes it's all subconscious without really knowing we are self sabotaging ourselves and giving ourselves excuses and that's the key we give ourselves excuses to remain where we are this is what we do we give ourselves excuses to be where we are to justify why we are not succeeding to justify why we are not expanding our consciousness expanding our uh, knowledge our growth why are we not doing that we remain in the same place by giving ourselves excuses so becoming aware of that really reconfirming to your mind the all the positives instead of the negative will really help you to reprogram your mind third step is in order to reprogram your mind is the beliefs which have been formed and the belief the way the beliefs are formed is by what you think and the confirmation you have and consistent that loop of confirmation so it's not just one confirmation it's hundreds and hundreds of confirmation from the past which builds that belief stronger and makes you believe something to be true in reality it might not be true but because you have so many confirmations from the past you will believe that so if you believe that nobody can be trusted in this world that thought really came from maybe one person deceiving you one person maybe didn't live up to that expectation which you were expecting and then and because of that you started feeling that fear and anxiety that you can't trust people then you because you are running that thought consistently when you meet someone else you might do the same thing maybe maybe they will deceive you because you hypnotize we hypnotize ourselves in believing is something which might not be true so maybe because we kind of behave in a way that that you the other person even though they might not be intentionally deceiving we kind of tell our mind no because they did that small thing deceiving me 
because they didn't call me or they didn't they didn't do this for me that means they're deceiving me we start coming off the reasons because we are looking for that person to deceive us we are not really focused on them to be trustworthy we are focusing on them to deceive us and when we are running on that path of deception that this person will deceive me because the past that person has deceived me so this person will and because i have seen a small kind of um things uh, behavior which might reconfirm that this person is not trustworthy therefore i will not trust them therefore everybody in the world is not trustworthy and and as that happens and if it continues to happen of course that becomes a stronger belief and we keep looking at our past to reconfirm uh, in our mind why we don't trust someone why we don't we are not good enough why um, we are not successful enough we keep looking for the evidence this is why it's so crucial to reprogram your mind in a positive way so that you realize everybody is on their own path on their own journey nobody is intentionally trying to do anything people are only doing what they know right and everybody's come from different environment different upbringing and because they everybody have their own insecurities everybody has their own limitations we all kind of kind of feeling probably the same energy and same vibes in a some way everybody's running into their own mind and thinking what the other person think of me we always and that's why most people you see they are very guarded they run from their ego they run from their behavior where they are protecting themselves consistently they are defensive they are, they have that big guard big wall up which you can't cross because everybody is trying to protect them so we kind of like all running the similar thought pattern because we all living believing that other person is going to hurt us in some ways therefore i should protect me this is why it happens and and the patterns of uh, consistently reconfirmation is the belief as the confirmation comes and comes and if you have so many mind gives you hundreds of confirmation of something which you believe your belief gets stronger and that's the third step is to realize what are your beliefs what do you believe in do you believe everybody is bad do you believe you can't trust anyone do you believe that rich people are evil do you believe that life is terrible do you believe that everybody is after you in a negative way you know what are do you believe and when you become aware of your beliefs write them down write your beliefs down and understanding that and then detaching from it and reprogramming your mind by focusing on your thoughts which is the first step focus on your thought become aware of them secondly look for positive confirmation instead of negative because when you are aware of your thought you can find um, positive evidence you do have positive evidence the only issue is because the mind runs negatively it only look for negative confirmations but if you want to reprogram tell your mind and reprogram your thought in looking for positive and you will find it it might take time but you will find it and it might be a good idea to start writing them down third thing is review your beliefs what kind of beliefs you have because after multiple hundreds of confirmation throughout your life those have formed certain kind of belief in your mind and in order to change your beliefs you need to be aware of them be aware of those beliefs where are they, what are they based on what research have you done what kind of things are you aware of because what happens is you will find whatever you look for and this is the reality and if you do not believe me you know google works very similar to our mind google uh, search engine works very similar to our mind and and that's why it's so popular because 
whatever you are searching for, you will be able to find on Google, whatever that is. So you can search for something which you believe in, right? And you will find all the evidence on Google to prove your belief. And you can find and put completely opposite to what you believe in and you will find the evidence to confirm that to be true. Isn't that crazy? You can find confirmation for both your belief, what you believe in and something you don't believe in. So if you believe all rich people are evil, you can find enough evidence uh, to, to confirm your thoughts. Other people who believe the same thing, other blog posts, other uh, news uh, articles to confirm that thought. The other search, if you do rich people are amazing, you will be able to find evidence for that as well. So, so really pay attention. That's how your mind works is whatever you look for, that's what you're going to find. So if you focused on negative pattern and mostly negative pattern runs on autopilot, you, it's not conscious. Sometimes we just get into that spiral of negative thoughts and it continues because of one thing or something very small happened and we start continuing that thought. But when, once we become aware of it, we have the power to change it. The final step, which I wanted to mention in terms of reprogramming your mind is conviction. And conviction comes after your thoughts, your confirmation, your beliefs is conviction. Because when the beliefs is formed, that's when the conviction happens because once the belief is formed, your mind is really looking to reconfirm that belief. As many times that belief gets reconfirmed, it becomes conviction. And conviction is the hardest pattern to break because if you're convicted and believed 100% something to be true, it'll take a long time to be, to be able to change that. And sometimes that uh, an insight comes in or the pain you go through or the challenges you go through, which might shake your conviction. But that's how you conviction is the hardest, hardest one to break. But if you focus on those three things is to becoming aware of your thought, reconfirming your thoughts in a positive way and be being aware of your beliefs, what you believe in and how you can focus on finding and researching on things which may be opposite to your belief. Really reprogramming that part by really with your thoughts and confirmation so that your beliefs can change. And as when I was younger, I had a lot of beliefs uh, which were absolutely not true, but because my environment was very different and I felt uh, very, I was very shy, I was very different human being, I had very different kind of beliefs. And now looking at today, I have completely different beliefs and I found those beliefs to not to be true. And I wasted a lot of years in my life uh, or because of those beliefs which were not true and I really stopped my growth I stopped myself from achieving things because of my own limiting beliefs and limiting beliefs can really stop your progress and your success and where you want to go where you what you want to achieve so being very aware of it makes a huge difference conviction will change when the belief will change so beliefs when beliefs change your conviction can change but if your beliefs uh, that's the th third step of the belief changing would happen by your thoughts and what kind of reframing of your confirmation you're doing in your mind to prove your negative thoughts and change that negative thoughts to positive uh, in a way so that your beliefs change and then you will you will be able to change your conviction i hope this video was helpful if you like this video then like this video and subscribe to the channel and may the light in me reaches the light in you and have an amazing day